In this video, we will use three-dimensional graphing software to graph parametric surfaces. The direction state for each surface given by the vector function r of u comma v identify the best description of the shape or the name of the surface. We will be using the 3D calc plotter from the Exploring Multivariable Calculus site shown here. And there are two options. The first option requires Java, which will not work in all browsers. We'll be using the 3D Calc Plotter JavaScript app, which works in most browsers, as well as phones and tablets. Let's graph our first surface. When the app is opened, this is always the default surface that is graphed, given by the function here on the left. First, let's clear this surface by clicking this button here for clear the plot. Next, to the right of Add to Graph, we click on this arrow, which brings up this drop-down menu. We select Parametric Surface. Now we enter the x, y, and z components of the vector function r of u comma v. And therefore, x is equal to v times cosine u, y is equal to u, and z is equal to v times sine u. Notice here we can change the interval for u and v. To graph the surface, we click on the box to the left of the parametric equations. Let's begin by zooming out by clicking this button here for zoom out. And now let's also adjust the intervals for u and v. Let's change u from negative 2 pi to positive 2 pi. And let's do the same for v, negative 2 pi to positive 2 pi. And now we have a nice graph of the surface. This surface is called a screw or helisoid. We can also make the surface transparent by clicking on this magnifying glass. Let's graph our next surface. So we'll go back over to the parametric equations. Let's uncheck this so it's no longer graphed and we'll enter our new parametric equations. Notice for the second parametric surface, x is still v times cosine u, and z is still v times sine u, but now y is equal to v. And now let's click the box and take a look at the graph. Notice now we have a cone. And again, we can zoom in or zoom out using these two buttons here. Let's graph our third parametric surface. So we'll uncheck the box. x is equal to v squared, y is equal to u, and z is equal to v. Notice here we don't have any trig functions. Let's go ahead and change the intervals for u and v from, let's say, negative 6 to 6. Let's also make the number of steps the same, in both cases 30. And we'll check the box to graph the surface. Here we have a parabolic cylinder. Let's clear the graph. And for our last surface, we have x equals v times cosine u, y equals v squared, and z equals v times sine u. And again, because we have trig functions, at least for u, let's change the interval for u from negative 2 pi to positive 2 pi. Now let's go ahead and graph by checking the box. And notice here, we have a paraboloid. If we want to, we can adjust individual axes by using the settings down here. I hope you found this helpful.